So um, if you log into your account, you will notice something that there is nothing here. There is nothing to do. This is basically a blank page with a blank everything. Now, but we actually in our database, we have a number of tables. If we go to refer, you see that we have a number of tables that we need to create files for. And that is the main reason why we install this uh, Laravel generator. So if you go to Laravel generator website, uh, click on getting started. And uh, once you click on it, you will see there is generator command. There is something we're looking for. We're trying to generate files from tables. So if you scroll up, I'm sorry, mine scrolled down by force. So that's it. Input from table. That's what we're looking for. We'll click on it. So it shows us how to generate uh, input from table, um, which is exactly what we're looking for. So we have to copy this and paste in our command line. Control C, I've copied it on my keyboard and then go to my command prompt, um, paste it. So now I've pasted it, I'll have to put the table name that I want to generate. The first table I want to generate for is users table. So we're going to generate the use files for users table. So we'll come here, remove this. The model for user is usually the model of any table in Laravel is usually the table with capital letters, starting with capital letter, and then must be in singular. So this one is all, all small letters and plural. That's the table name in the database. But the model name is, uh, the first letter is capital, then everything is singular. So I hit enter. This is going to generate files for my user, I see. It has generated how many files? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. These are lots of files almost um, 15 files it generated for me both the repository the model files the request files a whole lot which means if we come to this place it's still generating though but once it's done if we come to this place we should be able to refresh and see a menu see that it has even created the menu for us you see there is now users menu if i click on users menu i should be able to see um of course there is an issue of deleted that so this issue is caused because by default laravel uh, generator expects you to have a field called deleted at in your database but let's stop this video here in the next video we'll add it to all our tables all right and of course our migration